So hey guys, this is Vishwit and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you about a project, about a classic project that I have been working on a few weeks before. So generally, I always made some a little bit fancier projects, but I have rarely worked on any of the classic projects. And hopefully I have built it as it is been as it is supposed to be built. So this is the classic library management system. Okay. And I won't waste much of your time. So I will tell you who is this project for. So generally anyone who is new to programming, who has learned Python, it is for them. Okay. So this is built using Python, uh, Python and some of the Python libraries. Okay, I have not used any kind of front end. There is no database, nothing. So anyone who just got their hand dirty in Python and want to build something, they can take a look at this project. As I said previously, I have not used any kind of front end framework, no databases. So in this part, I will show you like there is no introduction, right? Library management system is like you guys obviously know that what a library what a library management system is. So I am going to show you my working directory and the files present in it. And in the next video, I'll show you where this where you can get this project. Obviously, I can show you now. Uh, I'll show you where you can get this project. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you how you can uh, download it and how you can execute it. Okay. So in this video, I'll show you how, how the working directory looks, looks like, what are the files I have used and what are the things I have used in Python. So I have my project in my desktop. So if I open this. So the last modified date was on 16th December. Okay, so today is 29. So like quite a few days are over. So first I'll sh uh, show you a dot idea. Uh, this is a folder uh, that is used by PyCharm. Okay, so that's why I was initially I have started this project on PyCharm and later I switched to VS Code. I hope uh, you know about PyCharm and VS Code. This is the data folder where our data is present. If I go inside, you can see all borrows. It contains all the transactions that are like when you are borrowing a book. Okay, so it contains all the books that are borrowed. All transactions means as the name suggests all the transactions, the book you are borrowing or the book you are returning and books.csv it contains the details of the books like the name, the author, even though I can open it and show you. So there are 14 books there. are This is the book ID. Okay. This is the name of the books and these are the author details. These are like I think publisher. This is the date publish. This is the availability status. And this is the number of copies that are present inside the library. Okay. And don't save. And we have the librarian details, the librarian login information and students login information. Okay. So if I show you the students login information. So here I, you can see I have the student ID, the student name and the password of them stored in text format. Okay. I have not used any fancy security or something like that. I have just stored them in normal text format. And this is the branch details. Okay. If you are in school or uh, maybe higher school in 10th or in 12th, you can use maybe your 11th or 12th or 10th, anything, anything you want. Okay. Uh, I have put uh, engineering batches, but you can use anything. Okay. These are like stream details. So if I close this now, there is also a data backup folder that I have kept. Okay. So that if you make any changes in this data and you want to revert it back, you have a copy of it present. Okay. So that's it. And there is the scripts folder. This is the main folder where our scripts are present. Okay. We have the PyCache folder. I won't be talking about PyCache. It's like a uh, Python compiler files. Okay. I know Python does like many people will say Python doesn't have a compiler or anything. So these are, these are like files that are created by Python only. Okay. So we'll talk about PyCache in a later video and these are all the scripts. Okay. We are supposed to run this main.py script. This is what 
like this is the starting point of our program if i go back i have the dot get ignore if you don't know much about the dot get ignore uh, file this contains uh, for example if i open it, it in notepad so you can see there are two three i should say okay three folders that are present so git ignore is like a special file you can keep it in your uh, directory so that when you push this whole uh, when you up upload this whole folder structure onto your cloud okay the folders that are present the folders that are present won't be pushed okay so since this was pycache i don't want pycache files to be put into the cloud i just wrote pycache so so it will ignore this particular folders or particular files now there is a readme file it's a special file it's a markdown file if i open with it uh, my vs code okay it's a special file i have put some information over there okay if you come into this part uh, this part over here if i open this so it contains little bit of introduction how to execute this file and i have spoken about the project complexity the libraries that i have used in this and the functionalities that are present okay so these are the library library and functionalities and these are the student functionalities okay so i have just put an introduction so anyone who wants to take a look they can definitely uh, read this readme file this is meant for reading only so that's why it's called as readme file and then there is a requirements or txt file it contains all the libraries that are present in our working environment in python okay we'll talk about requirements or file later i hope uh, like i have made a video on requirements or txt file if you have not watched that you can watch that that will tell you how you can utilize this requirement or txt file and get all the libraries installed on your python environment i hope i am not making uh, some kind of nonsense statement over here so uh, that's it for this video in the next video i'll show you what are the modules present in librarian the student i'll execute you first i will download this project i'll show you how to create the environment to down how to download how to install the libraries that are required and uh, how to execute the program okay so that's it for this video if you found this video helpful so do press that like button and stay tuned in the channel in the upcoming videos as i said i'll speak about more about this project i'll execute it so thank you for watching i'm going to see you in an awesome upcoming video